here I am. Once again, Rob Patry on Rob Patry Live. Now my, my cameraman, Doug Nod, and just went, oh, I think I forgot something. Now that's not a good <laughs> sign. That's not a good way to start the show. And now he's walking around. He just came back from like three months in Hawaii. And he's back all gloriously tanned and talking about eucalyptus trees. Honestly, I don't even know what he was talking about, but I just pretended like I was interested, which I'm not. But speaking of interesting, we've got this evening from the beautiful town in Charlotte County of St. George, we've got Mayor Crystal Cook and Deputy Mayor Faith Avery. Boy, you both look scared. A, you, it comes you, with us. You ever heard that expression, a deer in the headlights? That's what you yes. both got this look. Well, you shouldn't be afraid at all. It's only me. We've been talking now for 45 minutes, I think. And now we've got nothing to nothing say. Nothing to say. I know, it's all done. Well, good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. So how are you this evening, both of you? I'm great. Yeah, how yeah. are you? You're I'm, a little... I am a little deer in the headlights, but you're, I'm yeah, great. <laughs> you're a little distressed. I, I sense a, a, a concern, a fear, if you will. Uh, not a fear of you. No? No. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. What is it? Tell me what your fear is. Talk to me like... I'm your, your therapist. <laughs> what is it you're worried about? Oh, what am I worried about? Because you said to me you don't like public no, speaking. No, I don't, which well, is very odd since I ran for mayor. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a fear of Maybe, public speaking. Do you? Yeah, I like, I'm into community service, but I don't like speaking publicly. You know, Jerry Seinfeld had a great line about that. He said that something like 80% of the people, their greatest fear is public speaking which means that death is actually comes after that. So he said that at a funeral, people would rather be in the coffin than actually having to say the eulogy, which is kind of interesting. Yes, is. is that how you that, feel? That, that, kind of. <laughs> so how long have you been mayor, Crystal? Well, I've been mayor a year in June. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so pretty new. Yeah. And are you enjoying it? Um, it has its moments. Yeah. Yes. But I will there, say most times I enjoy it. Um, now, was, was Faith your running partner? Does it work like the vice no, I don't even know no, how it works. No. I don't know anything about politics. No. So she wasn't like you picked her like your vice, like they, but the not guy. Not like the states. No, no it's not no, like that at all. No. No. So you both ran on separate. Right. I ran for council. Okay. And she ran for, for mayor. mayor. Right. And deputy mayor get, is in different communities. It's decided different ways. Right. Sometimes it's decided amongst the council yeah. who was going to be deputy mayor. In our municipality, it goes by who got the most votes okay. on council. Okay. And had you been involved in council for a I did, four years before. Four years. And yeah. what about yourself? I had been on council for 15 months. Okay. So not really long at <laughs> not, that either. Not very long. So you're wet behind the ears. Yes, or as you I, said, you're a little green. I am a little green. So what made you, what propelled you to become or want to run for mayor? I, I think I saw an opportunity for change. You know, everybody wants change in their community to move forward, growth. So I thought, hey, what better way than to get on council and then run for mayor? And are you both from St. George? Yes. I'm from Grand Manan. Grand Manan. Grand Manan. That's that island out there. That is that island <laughs> out there. And then when did you come over to the mainland? <laughs> 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years ago. You're not even that old, are you? 30? Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> was it neither of you? I'm the only old person at this yeah. desk is... It's the guy you're talking to. So, so you've been here for a while. I now. have, but I'm still a Grandma Nanner part, and I'm a St. Georger. Right. Because you never lose the title of Grandma Nanner. No? No, so I've been told. <laughs> Grand, so you can say Grandma Nanner Georger. That's right. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. And so how are things in St. George? Because, you know, we go there to shop. We go to the country market, and you, you work at the country market. I do. I told you that's where we get our fudge, yeah. and I asked you what your favorite fudge was, but neither of you came up with an answer. <laughs> I, I, it's, I think it's the brown sugar fudge. Brown sugar is a good seller. The praline is. Praline. Yeah. Now they get some odd ones like watermelon, and I don't. Water, I won't water. even go near that. <laughs> Pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. There's was all it, kinds not of that ones. Pr I'm sure it's really good, but those things always concern me. <laughs> yeah. Does watermelon have seeds in it? The fudge? No. They don't. You could. Chocolate chips. They look like seeds. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good idea because I was going to say seeds in the in the fudge wouldn't no, be a good no. idea. 
And you're a nurse. I'm a nurse. And where yes. do you do? You, do you say practice nursing? Yes. So I, where do you practice? I work at Fundy Health Center in Black Harbor. Black Harbor. Yes. Now you guys have got a new uh, uh, medical. You see the word clinic. Yes. Escaped. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> the word escaped me because that happens. See, yes. I'm that you were worried. Now I, I can't remember anything. <laughs> But there's a new clinic, new medical clinic. Yes. And that was a really big event. It was. Yeah. Okay. We're very proud. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful clinic located in the St. George Mall. Okay. Yes. It's um, It was set up for three physicians. Right now we have one, but we do have a physician coming to town on Tuesday. Oh, great. Like yes. full time? Full time. Oh, that's awesome. He's flying in from South Africa. Okay. Yes. Dr. Mula. Mm-hmm. So he will take up practice in the medical clinic. Now, prior to that, where were the doctors coming from, or were they just scattered around? Because I know in the, the entire province of New Brunswick, the medical system is needs a little bit of assistance. Yes. Our last physicians, um, I don't know where Vance Anderson was from. Local boy, I believe. I think he was yes. a local boy, yes. They, I believe he moved to St. John, so okay. his practice became vacant. We have Dr. Natarajan, who came from Nova Scotia. Yeah. And um, we still have her. We still have her, we had Dr. Hamid. Who I believe came from Calgary, and nice. now we'll have Dr. Mula. So, so three physicians. Three. Oh, yes, that's awesome. fabulous. Now, is the clinic a type of thing where you can just walk in at any time for help, or is it something where you have to make appointments, or it's your fa it be they become your family doctor? Yeah, you do have to make appointments, but I will say Dr. Natarajan has been very accommodating. Uh, Dr. Kaminska's charts have been at the clinic, so she has been taking some of her patients to help. They're okay. not her actual practice patients now, but she's been taking some walk-ins to help the town out. And this has made a big difference because I yes. know when it, it opened, it was really, it had some really good fanfare and yes. lots of, of notoriety on Facebook and things because it's, you know, getting a new clinic like that is, and it was a new building, wasn't it? Or Well, it was newly renovated. Okay. It yes. was, it's right in the upper part of the mall. Okay. So. That's fantastic. So as you know, it's a call-in show. We always take calls here. We're always... So are you, are you prepared to answer some tough questions? <laughs> Bring them on. Bring so, them yeah, on. You know, because I'm going to forget some <laughs> tough questions as we go along. I've written here to ask about the fudge. And a couple that of... That covered? Yeah, that covered it. Yeah. So, you know, we can, we can cut the show short if you really want to. But if anybody has any questions for either the mayor or the deputy mayor, Crystal Cook and Faith Avery, give us a call at 529, well, see, it's TV26, or 529-8826, or 506-529-8826, or 855-529-8826. Give us a call at one of those numbers. I think we've covered off everybody in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> So if anybody's, you, know, you never know who might call. You never know. So what's new, what else is new in, in St. George? Tell me about all the goings on. Well, right now we're been having community meetings about a new bridge on So Street. Oh, nice. Yes. yes um, the bridge we have is 109, 109 years old. 109 years old. Wow. It's one of the oldest ones and it's due for replacement. Now, do they, now I don't know anything about bridges. Do they have to take the whole bridge down and then put it back? like put a new one up or is it restored or refurbished? Or? They don't want to restore it because of its age. So right. we are getting a new bridge. Oh, nice. So we thought it'd be great to present to the community two different options, mm -hmm. um, a bridge and a pedestrian bridge, or perhaps just a pedestrian bridge and recreate the area for more of a tourist area. Right. So. So what did the community decide? We've only had one meeting. Okay. Um, the next meeting will be the decision. Yeah. Um, when we had the meeting, there was a lot of questions, so we said, let us come back to the table and get those answers and have another meeting. Well, that's actually pretty good that yes. you're involving the community. It's not just like you're saying, here's what you get. Yes. Right. Because the town is a very pretty town, and it has a lot of history, and there's a lot of beautiful Definitely. spots. And, and that's, that area down there is one of the most photographed areas right. in New Brunswick with the falls and gores. So you want to make sure that the, the bridge is we in We preserve line. that. Yeah. Yes. You don't want to start putting up uh, anything that's not going to fit in with, right. yes. with everything else. Because you got the post office. Yes. We do. Which yeah. is a beautiful spot. It is beautiful. It's made of St. George granite. Yeah. No, no, it's, you're famous for granite. We are. Yes. We are. Some of our granite is used in the Parliament buildings. In Ottawa. Ottawa. Okay. And in the museum that. in Boston. Oh, okay. The Titanic. Uh, Markers. Yeah. Uh, now that was just recently discovered. It was it just in the last six months, I believe it was. Because that's a cemetery in Halifax. In Halifax, yes. 
and there's a new craze going across now with the sculptures where right. the, the trails yeah. and they start down in the states and they come up through and the New Brunswick ones are made of mostly St. George granite. Mm -hmm. So That's we have one right in St. George. Yeah. That's a beautiful yeah, statue. A beautiful one. And yeah. there's one in St. Stephen. St. Stephen, yeah. 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 Well, that's great. Yeah, that the Titanic thing. I think a lot of people are fascinated by that because it was a big movie a few years ago. I don't that's know if you right. saw it or heard of it, but it was a was huge. huge <laughs> yeah, times. once or twice, maybe yeah, ten but times. It, it was a huge uh, industry in St. George. Yeah, you know, the boats came into the lower basin, and mm -hmm. and we just went from the granite industry to the logging industry to just kept. Now, where is where does the grant? I know it comes from the ground, but is there like a quarry? Or <laughs> there is a quarry. It's just outside of St. George. Okay. But the actual mills and everything were behind the post office. Yes. There was one down on the lower basin. There's one. There's actually still old grinding stones and everything down there. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so now, do you know anything about the history of how the granite got to the Titanic? Uh, portion of that cemetery. No, it, j it surprised me just as much when I started reading it. Do you know my, uh, I always tell people this because you know, nobody in my family really does much of anything. We don't have any <laughs> famous people. But my great uncle, so it would be my grandmother's brother, um, he worked on the, or he was stationed on the McKay Bennett that picked up bodies after the Titanic. Yeah. And uh, so we feel somewhat close to that. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was, it was there were a lot of people buried in that cemetery. Definitely. And I've been there, and I've I don't know if you, if either of you has, but it's uh, yeah. it's it's quite stirring to see, and it's actually nice to know that there's that connection to your town. Very much, very yeah. very proud. Yeah, yes, that yeah. is a, a wonderful thing. Okay, so again, if anybody has any questions, give us a call at 529-8826 for either the mayor or the deputy mayor or anything about St. George. Now you're having a glass of water. And one of the concerns in town is water, isn't it? Yes, what's it is. going on there? Yes. What's, what's up with that? We need rain. Yeah, our wells it's been a are, dry I, summer. It has been a dry summer. Our wells, we have five wells, and are, they're at critical levels. Really? Yes, we really need rain. We went into last winter with low wells. Yes. So water we get for like last year affects yeah. this year because we're in aquifers. Yeah. So, and then what we get this year will affect next year. So right. this yes. week they're saying there's going to be a little bit of rain, so I'm hoping. Yes. You know, it's funny that you say that. And of course, you you know, most people think, oh, you know, you don't want rain because you want, through the summer, you want to do things That's and right. go on picnic. You pay for those nice days. But you yes. do. Yes. And you don't, you know, when you say, geez, when was, I was thinking here, when was the last time it rained? And I don't even remember. I don't even recall. I think it was during our festival. <laughs> I think so. But we need significant yeah. rainfall for a it, while. It's not enough, is it? No. And uh, what? when do you notice that, like, is it something that happens gradually that, or is somebody always keeping an eye always, on it? Always, yes. Uh, yes, it's always monitored uh, yes. with, with our new well, especially we have a whole new SCADA system on it. And no, I didn't, comes I, right I, what's that word there? I didn't pick up on that. S SCADA? Yeah, what's that? It's the monitoring system for okay. the for the wells Okay. and the tower and it comes right across to our foreman that when alarms are going off or the wells are getting really low then they know to go up and see if the wells are being turned on or have to be turned off. Or now you've lived in St. George your whole life I have. and you've been there for quite a while. Is this yes. something that you've seen before? Is this something new, a new phenomenon? I don't think they've been this low. No, this is the worst I think yes. I've seen it. I know that uh, in St. Stephen that, uh, of course now I can't remember, what's the name of that, anybody remember the name of that creek near the, uh, near the uh, ice, or not the ice, the axe factory? Dennis Stream. Yes. And I know a few people have taken a picture of it and put it on Facebook, and it's just rock. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no water no. running yeah. at all. Yeah. The lake is low. The lake is yes. low, yeah. Macadavy is down. Yes. So I want, is this like, do you think this is because of climate change and that type of thing? I know, yeah. You, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, but something's going yeah. on. Something is going yes. on. I, I bet you we did go half of July and all of August, mm -hmm. maybe 10 millimeters here. Or, you know, a little bit of wetting there, but we have not got any rain. Yeah. Anywhere near where you need it to no. be. We need about a week of we 20, do. 25 millimeters yeah. a day. And we've and had notices out all summer, but 
it, sometimes it's hard to get people to realize I that know. when we mean our wells are low, that we really mean our low, wells are Because I know low. like those are at times not to wash your yes. car and water your lawn. Mm -hmm. and right. Fill your pool. But of course, if you don't yeah. have rain, your lawn's not green, so people tend to want to water it. Yeah, I know. So. See, I, it doesn't bother me when the lawn turns, so I just say I don't have you to You don't have to mow it, huh? Less yeah. mowing, yes, less mowing. Yeah, so yes. I mean, you, know, you, you have to look for every little plus you can, yes. but we all have to work together to yes. conserve it. Yes. So now are most people, it, it, there's no like, is it mostly all well water in St. George? Yes, uh, there's a few odd ones that have their own well system or their own septic system. Yeah but mostly everybody is on these five wells that we have that fill. We have two towers now, okay. right? Yes. We just put a new one up, and then we have the old one. So right now we're running mainly, I believe, off the old one, because it's full, but yeah, it's But there's well. nothing really you can do, is no. there? Not a thing we can do. Other no. than just pray for pray rain for, and, the, and for hope rain. that it comes. Yeah. Now in the winter time, does that affect it at all, like this? The, s the snow and the runoff in the spring, yeah. yeah, that benefits us. Right. It does benefit us, but. By that time. You know, yeah. We really need water before it freezes. Yeah. Yes. And then, but does consumption go down through the winter because of no lawns and no pools and that type of thing? We have a pretty high consumption because we have the industrial we park. Have the industrial so we have park. cooks in Northern Harvest that okay. are huge water, you know, these are They water. need it to process their yes. fish. Okay. And they've, so. they've made huge strides over the last couple of years to conserve water. Yeah. But they still need water. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, eh? You don't, you take it for granted for so long. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. To, and the, when you're looking at Cooks and Northern Harvest stuff, you know, that's our main employers for yes. our right. area. Yeah. So you got to think about keeping them going, keep our economy going. Yeah. And I mean, it's, we're surrounded by water. And I mean, even yeah. just, uh, I guess, uh, my directions are awful, but <laughs> it's north of the highway. There's that sort of that area that's got a lot of water. It's sort of boggy kind of. The marsh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That feeds off the macadavy, comes down through. But that doesn't help you at all either. No. We, we've been actually drilling for wells. To put Have in you? New, yes, trying to put in a new one. We haven't found a site yet. Wow. Yes. So that's a major thing for that the town. A major it is, thing yeah. for us. Well, I'm glad we, I, I don't know if we can tell people not to be careful, but they really have to because yes. you got to get through that, uh, that next little while. And you said that what's going on now will affect next year. Yeah, it's just a trickle effect. It's yeah. So do, how do you prepare for something like that for next season? We just hope there's going to be some rain. Rain, that's all you can that's do. Yes. Let's talk about nicer things. Yeah. Okay. Things. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't mean. Rain to dance it comes next. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of depressing to think. If I can have water. offer my dancing services, I gladly <laughs> will. But we may need them. Yeah, you know what? It's probably just as well you don't. You can ask my wife about that. My dancing skills are not uh, are not that good. Is it break time, Patrick? I can hear some some little voices in my ear. So we're going to take a quick break. You're on Rob Patry Live. We'll be. Right back with Crystal Cook and Faith Avery from the town. So we're back with, well, you're not with Rob Patry Live, or are you? So I don't know if that's grammatically correct. If you're with Rob Patry or I'm Rob Patry, you know, I just love saying that name, Rob Patry. Isn't that a great name? It is a great name. Well, Rob thank Patry. you. Yeah, you know what? And, and I paid a little extra here to get these things up. So it gives me a sense of power. Yes. You know, and then they, they, they prop up my chair and it feels good. Oh, there we got it. There's our phone number, 529-8826. And the question is, our community is Granite Town Strong. That's your, your logo? It's granite, no, it's Community, community strong. strong. 
And it is a strong community. It's a very strong community. How many people yes. are there? And how many people live in St. George? Oh, 1,570. 1,570, mm -hmm. including the two of you. Yes. So now you're down. <laughs> We right. are. There's, there's are they going to the night without you? I don't know. Because all the power <laughs> of St. George is here. Yes. More I can sense it. Power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I can sense it. There, there's a palpable sense from both of you that the, the, you, you're the, the ones that take care of business in that town. We and I like our, that. Yeah. We got yeah. that across. That's we good. We are go-getters. <laughs> yeah, and that's good. That's what yes. you need. You don't need somebody sitting there not doing anything. Exactly. Because if I, I know if I was doing it, that's what I'd be doing. Nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't come on a show like this. We wouldn't I'd be let too, you. I, I know, we wouldn't let you. No, it would be embarrassing. I'd have nothing to say. But uh, no, that's good. Now, one of the things we had talked about a little bit about the show, but before the show started, was the pantry. Right, yes. the community pantry. That yes. is a wonderful idea. It's a now, fabulous idea. How did all this come about? It's a partnership between the Multicultural Association and the food bank, St. George and Area Food Bank. And they built this pantry, and what it's for is people can drop items off, or if they need an item, they can take an item. And it's to get people through the weekend or the evening after the food bank is closed, right. and if they need just, you know, something for their children for lunch or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And I think it's working very well. Yeah. Is it's, it? It's yeah. fabulous. It I, seems to be used a lot. Yeah, yes. it does. And I think, again, I think that's a great idea, because, I mean, there's a lot of of people in, in Charlotte County and everywhere, I suppose, that, that need that a help. Absolutely. You know, just, that, and that, that, just some extra little thing at yeah. some time, yeah. And so they can just go and open it up and... and take what they need. Or, or then yeah. somebody else who has a few extra things can right. drop Absolutely. it off. Or it could be the other way around. They might go one week and take something out, and the next week they have something, oh, and they go back right. and, and, then and put in. Replace it. Yeah. So it's always a constant flow, flow kind of. Yes. And then you were talking about next year you want to introduce a library yes, with the same yeah. kind of idea. Yes. What's that about? This is a library. It's the outdoor library, a little library, and it looks like a little house. Yeah. And we, we had to donate it to us, kindly donate it with, a, with boxes of books. We're going to set it up in the area across from Pete's Dairy Bar. Okay, yeah. The, we're hoping to build a little green area there. Yeah. And there's a new mural all painted there now that we just had done. So this will give people a chance somewhere to go sit. And yes. if they want to borrow a book, borrow a book, bring a book, take a book. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. So it, which is, you know, feed, feed the mind and feed the, yeah. the belly. Yeah. So, and make it a community investment. And those are the kinds of things that people remember and... You know, that, that's a great thing. Yes. Now, how you get a lot of tourists in the town through, is it a, a big tourist area? We did really well this year. Yes. Oh, good. We were up 20%. We're up, yeah, 20%. Oh, yes. that's awesome. We were up much higher than that. September was down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure really why, but all the other months were phenomenal. Like, yes. they were up 45%. And, and tell us what people do in St. George, like the people that come to visit. Where do they stay? What do they like to do when they come to visit? They go to the blueberry farm. They have a uh, they had a little tour, tour in the back. Right. They have mm -hmm. great trails in St. George. Yeah. Beautiful trails. Ducks Unlimited Ducks trail. Unlimited trail. trail. And then we also have we're we're quite lucky because we're like a hub there. Yes. yes. You can go to Deer Island and cross to Camp of Bello and then That's come back. That's true. Yes. And you can do this all in mm -hmm. one day. Yes. Yeah. Or go to St. Andrews and and get on a whale watching boat and and then come back to St. George. Yes. So. And that's that's the Granite Granite Town Hotel, Hotel. and then there's the yes. Grove Motel. Okay, yes. so you've got a place, and you've got a restaurant there. And we have, yeah, we have a new one in the mall, Fortune uh, River River yeah. Chinese, I think yes. it's called. Oh, Delicious. Chinese! And oh, it, nice. it, it's a really nice restaurant. He offers Vietnamese food and, and Thai food, and. And we also in. have Pub on Main, which is That's, excellent. And that just yes. opened in the last oh, six two, two, two been, year. No, a year. He, they yeah. just had their. Yes. But they have excellent food. Like okay. it's all fresh seafood, mm -hmm. and they make yeah. their own chicken burgers and and nuggets and all nice. that. So people visit yeah. the gorge. And, and the when gorge. we get the new bridge, it'll be even better. Yeah. Yes. The pedestrian bridge they're going to put in is beautiful. Okay. So. And then we have a lot of shops there, specialty shops. We have Crafty mm -hmm. Creations. Yes. Uh, in the front street that people go in, and it's all local artisans that put stuff in there. Yes. Yeah. Gilmore we have Coach House. Gilmore Coach yes. House, who sells most beautiful clothes and almost anything you can think of, right down to cat dishes. Yes. You know, okay. like you yes. can get by something for anything. And business is good in town. Would you say? Is it? I think. It's I good. think yeah. it is. Yes. yes. 
We really encourage, encourage people to shop local. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and what I like is that, you know, you, you can go to all the different towns in, in Charlotte County, not just stay in one, but I mean, you know, there are things available in St. Andrews mm -hmm. and in St. Right. George and in St. Stephen. Um, like I said, we shop at the uh, at the Country Mark, and it's such a nice store. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, and store. it gives you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you know what I like doing? We'll we'll go because we had on uh, Mayor Darling last week from St. John, but it's a nice stopover for us to to go to on our way either to St. John or coming back. Yes, a lot of people come from Fredericton and everywhere to Country Market to yeah. get their bricks. Everything's made right there. Right there. And it's made like your mother or yeah. my mother, not me, but yeah. anybody <laughs> anybody but me would make well, it. Well, what does that mean now? No, no, I'm curious. You, you don't like to bake or I'm cook? not a baker. No. I'm a cook. I'm You're not a, cook. a, no, not like, a baker. Because yeah, they got great pies there. Pies, oh, yeah. cookies, yeah. Cookies, yeah, yeah. yeah. Their, bread. their bread is fabulous. Bread. And down the road is also Terry's Beef and More. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's and right. And he sells yes. everything from alligator to kangaroo. He's to, from Australia. Yes, he is. Yeah. So anything you can think of that you've never tried before. Well, that's right. And he makes veggie burgers. Yeah. So that's right. right. That's up your alley. Right up my alley. Because you're a vegetarian. Yes, I am. Now, how long have you, have you been that way your whole life? <laughs> yeah. Is that a problem we can correct? <laughs> and I shouldn't say. I apologize to all the vegetarians. 20 plus okay. years I've been. You have? Yes. Wow, good for you. And uh, so now, you, so you, do you go to his his uh, store to get your veggie burgers? Yes, that's where I get are them. Are they good? Yes, they are. Yeah? Yes, his wife makes them. Connie, yeah, I believe. Connie, yeah, Connie, yeah. And uh, I know what's going into them. And yeah, that, which makes a difference, big doesn't difference, it? Yeah, because yeah, uh, you don't know where when you buy them frozen or whatever. That well, and, you kind of know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know where to get the T-bone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, steaks are good, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful store in there. And then there's a little Asian store. I know. Yeah. That. Yes, Videoville, Video. Asian yeah. market, mm -hmm. and anything you can think of that you might want for cooking. For Asian food, you can He's there. get in there. They also have video rentals, yeah. and uh, yeah, so they so have a good a, business there. Yeah. That's a nice community. In yes. the mall, you got the, the, the mall, little mall yeah. there. We have Independent, mm -hmm. and in the mall, we have the, the pharmacy, of course, yeah. and the dollar store. I mean, got to have a dollar store. Yes. You know what? Those yeah. places do rip roaring business. Yes, they're right. Yes. Yeah. They're, I've never seen one that wasn't filled with people walking down and. There's always something, something you can buy in there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it's all a dollar. It's, well, no, this one so here they, is. This one's not all a dollar, but it's still all great bargains. Well, yeah, and I mean, you know, you can't, all, you can't be a dollar forever. <laughs> no, that's to, right, to, exactly. You have to change it. But you know what? It's amazing how, you know, you can get stuff there that you can use, like, for Halloween. They yes, always, exactly. Yes, yes. Have nice Halloween things. Now, does St. George do anything special for Halloween? I'm glad you oh, asked. Yes. See? See? <laughs> That's no, what they have you no, but, for. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think when you, you both came in here, you looked at me like I was an empty vessel. <laughs> like there's nothing going on up here because I got all these blank cards with nothing on. And I know that I'm not that interesting, but every now and then... Something comes. Something comes in, and i got to get it out. So what's going on for Halloween? Well, on the 28th, we have a Halloween event. We have it every year for the youngsters. Okay. And it goes from 10 o'clock to 12 noon. And we have Hurley the Magician coming down from Fredericton. And we have Rob Rainer doing a sing-along with the kids. Oh, and nice. we have our mayor making some yummy yes. treats. I so do the baking. We you can do the baking. Okay, so you bake. I bake. But you don't. No. But I so, organize. See, that's the, how we work. Well I was going to say this is a great team <laughs> yes. because what one... When one falls down, the other one helps <laughs> right. her up. So you do. So what are you going to bake, or is it is it a secret, or can I ask? Oh, spooky cupcakes and is that oh treats. scary looking yes. things? Do you do yeah. like things with eyeballs? Yes. And, oh, geez, yes. I don't, We've I got don't lots know. of plans for spooky <laughs> treats. And where does where is this? Help? It's going to be at Macadavy Place, our, okay. our center that mm -hmm. we have there, where the skateboard park is and yeah. the ball diamond and everything. But yeah like to see every and it's not just for St. George kids we invite all communities because kids play with kids play with kids well, sure. that's right yes. now can adults can I come by and you get some most treats? certainly can but you can't fill your pockets why <laughs> I'm not allowed is there an age cut off you know what I'm going to dress up this year as a television star oh all right yeah. that's, a, that's a great idea <laughs> yeah well uh, yeah, I don't know about that but oh that's wonderful see that's what I love about this area even though the, the communities are they're small but you do a lot yes. yeah and yes. you know that that's wonderful and it's important that somebody is 
like both of you are there to head that up and to encourage people. And we're quite proud when we do our events. We are, like I call all the schools, like yeah. Back Bay yes, and yes. Blacks Harbor, and invite all the kids. Oh, nice. Because it's like we do ball hockey in the spring. Yeah. So we have teams from St. Stephen that come down and play. Oh, nice. And it just it makes it great that yeah. way because it doesn't really matter, you know. Yeah. We, believe, yeah. we we all we do them for is a donation to Big Brothers Big Sisters or the yeah. food bank, and that's what it is Saturday is pr bring a donation for the food bank. Right. So it can help their. So there's a, it's again a give and take right. where it is. You get something from the community, and then you help the community. That's right, which exactly. is wonderful. Yeah. And you have a skating board. Skateboard park. park. Yeah. Park. Yep, is that, that's a big deal with the kids. Very big. We yeah. just did a a renovation there, added some new pieces. Right. And we just redid our playground. Yeah. And is this something you're involved with? I don't actually you don't get on use the skateboard, the skateboard park. But, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. We're getting a skating rink this year. Oh, are you? Yeah, so maybe I'll get on those type of skates. Now, is that an, an indoor or outdoor no. Outdoor. Rink? Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. It was started last year by yeah. um, uh, Troy Morton. He's okay. a St. Georger. Yes. And he's doing it again this year. It's going to actually be at McAdavid yeah. Center, where the skateboard park is. Oh, is that ever yes. nice? He's actually putting a, a hockey rink in and a skating rink. Oh, yes. that's great. So yes. everything's all centrally located yes. for the kids, and yeah. yep. there's something to keep them going year-round. Keep, yes. the, keep them out of trouble. Yes. That's, that's what you want. That's the name of the game. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's just one. Oh, the skating rink in the in the winter time at night. Can you go skating at night? You can. can. He's, oh, he's, he's building a warming center right at McAdavid Center wow. right now. Yeah. He he's, done, he's done Yeah, fantastic yes. job. Yes, I have has. to say, Troy has worked hard. Yes. And uh, he's really pushed yes. to get it done. That's he's raised incredible. lots of money for that. Yeah. And the kids love it. Well, yeah, yes. sure. I think that there's something very Canadian about skating outside in yes. the winter time. I mean, it's nice to have an arena or a, you know, inside, mm -hmm. which is wonderful too. But there's something very nice about being outside in yes. the winter time. If snow's coming down and maybe a little music. Playing and geez, you know, I'm getting a bit of a tear in my <laughs> eye. You know, because uh, I'm not much of a skater myself. I wish I was. We had on uh, 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 two girls uh, uh, about a month ago that have started a skating school in St. Stephen, and oh. they they said I could take some lessons yeah. and I could learn and then come out and visit you folks. Yes, you can. Yes, come and outside. Yes. Let us know. Well, yes. I think they have a walker for us old guys. We yes. have those. Uh, we don't. No. <laughs> Troy has those. Does he? Yes. For, yes. For, okay, so I could skate with a walker. Yes, you could. Or we get you a chair or something. Chair. Yeah. Like a maybe with like a wheelchair, but without the rubber tire part, and I could just. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not. So anyway, any other calls? Give us a call five two nine eight eight two six if you have any questions about St. George, the wonderful town. And it, so now, historically, do you know a lot about the history of St. George? I don't know anything, so you could just say anything you want, <laughs> and I'll never know. You could just make something up. What? Any famous people from St. George, other than the both of you? Famous people. Like any uh, movie stars or athletes or anything like that? Hmm. Not that I know. Not that I know uh, of. Peter Clinch. That's yeah, Peter Clinch. <laughs> no. Okay. He's, now who's he's he? the founder of St. George. Oh, okay. So he's. I assume he's no longer with us. I don't think. <laughs> no. And when did they found? When did they found? When they? What's the word? I was going to say fondle, was but I don't think that's the word. No, I know it's not the word. What's the word for the founded? Founded. When was it founded? Yeah, it's not founded. 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 When did they found? When did they found it? When was it? Oh, when was it founded? So I need some help here with my grammar. Okay, when was it founded? Was it founded? 1752. 17? No. Oh, I, just, no, I made I'm, that I'm gonna, up. I, 1601. I'm going to say 1904, but I'm, that's, I, that's what I think's on our. Oh, here's one. For, when was it incorporated? I'll look into that. Okay. And. <laughs> you get, on the next time you come, are you going to come back, first of all? Wasn't, sure. Yeah, sure. it's not over. we still got plenty of time. But when you come back, then you can tell me when it was founded okay. and incorporated. And how, where did the name come from? I'll look into that. St. George, yes. wasn't he the guy that... He's the, the slayer of, of dragons. I was going to say, is it slayed yes, or sl slewed? <laughs> He's I don't the even, slayer of dragons. Slayer of dragons. Is that the St. Yes, George? Yes, it is, yes. Yeah. And well, that's our flag, is the 
St. George Cross. Is it? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know that. That's yeah. interesting. And right there's there. a uh, there's a St. George, Newfoundland. Right. And we found out a few years ago that they have their Blueberry Festival the same time as yes. we have ours. So <laughs> is that your sister sit town? Or? Well, we didn't even know. Or do you they... have a sister town? No, we don't have. A... Well, why don't you contact we them? Could and do we that. could. Yeah. Connect up. You've been to that blueberry place? There's a big blueberry out there, like there a big is. happy blueberry He's a guy. very jolly guy, yeah. And uh, we've we've had their wine, which is mm -hmm. really nice. I, now, I wouldn't have thought blueberry wine would be the, I didn't know, I had no idea. It doesn't really taste like blueberry, it just tastes like red wine. Yes, yeah. it does. And we've had their salsa and uh, their jams and... They I make think, nice products. Yeah. They make yeah. nice products. And they have... Uh, uh, great barbecue sauce, blueberry barbecue sauce. Yes. And of course they do pies and cheesecakes. And mm -hmm. But you don't eat any of that. No, I save that for you. So now, okay, now <laughs> see, I'm going to focus in on you for a second. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yeah, because now the Just tough. A second. <laughs> no, yeah, the tough questions are coming out because I said I promised both of you there wouldn't be any tough questions, but they're coming out now. Now you don't have any sugar at all. Do you have sugar substitutes? I don't really can't really think of what I would eat that would have sugar that I'd need it. Wow. I mean, of course, I have sugar. I eat fruit. Yeah. So the sugar and fruit. Natural yeah, sugar. Right. But I don't add sugar. Now, does this bother you as your deputy? I'm the, on, I'm the only one that's sitting around the council table that's saying no to stuff. So more for everyone else. She's still hyper even without sugar. Is she? <laughs> yes. Now, bread, you eat bread and carbohydrates. Or no, you don't. <laughs> See, I got to know everything you're eating now. Now I'm getting concerned about it. I eat a lot of protein shakes. Yes, she does. That's it. And I, I call it a lazy man salad. I take my ice water and put my kale and, and spinach and cucumber and celery and buzz it all up and drink my salad. Now, uh, okay, so but now for supper time, what do you have? That's usually an omelet. An omelet. And then you put vegetables spinach in it? Spinach and peppers. Don't you find onions. this strange? I do. Her lifestyle? <laughs> yes, her lifestyle yes, because I like meat and potato. But, yeah. you know, nobody's ever, ever accused me of not wanting to share my food. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> yes. But it doesn't happen too often. Okay. And I yeah. never open the fridge and it's gone. There's always, yeah, there's always something there. Well, this is fascinating. We're, you know what, we got to take another break, but oh, I want to come back to this. We'll be right back with Rob Patry Live. So you're back with, yeah, no talking during the show. No. Or no talking when the host is talking. I don't care for that. You're back with Rob Patry Live. We have Faith Avery, Deputy Mayor, and Mayor Crystal Cook. Now, you're, you're still you're having problems with this old TV thing, aren't you? <laughs> yes. It's a, you know what? I should tell, maybe I should tell you, there's no, the cameras aren't even turned on. And oh. Nothing's going on. So it's just like us having a conversation. I'm very glad you brought the Deputy Mayor with me. Well, you're doing, you're both doing a good job. You're both doing a good job. But you, I offered you a fisherman's friend, but you said no, because you might choke on it. Yes. And then... Faith was kind enough to say, you're the nurse, so we don't... Is that a Heimlich maneuver? Is that what we got to do? Yes, yes. Because if it gets stuck in your throat. Yes, Heimlich unless I go unconscious. And then what do we got to do? CPR. Which, what, like, we Compre need those... Yes, compressions. Those, oh, yeah, no. We just well, won't give her one. Yeah. So if we just let you drift away, is that our... Like, are we going to be sued or anything? Might be, eh? Oh, probably not. No, let's not even no. talk about that. We don't want, <laughs> no, we're not going to let anything happen. You're safe and sound. Thank here. you. Yeah, you're in the in the warm comfort of the Rob Patry show. Nothing ever happens. Now we got a couple of dates to share here, because our crack staff in the back. <laughs> well, no, no, they didn't look it up. You girls just remember. I should yes, say, yes. women, ladies. Yeah, that's right. Remembered. So what is it? Here, I'll just I'll pass that along. <laughs> 1904 Incorporated, 1783. Right. Now, what is, I don't even know what Incorporated means. It, it, something happened. We became a municipality. What was it before? 
settlement. It was a settlement. Yeah. Okay. Now, St. George was actually first uh, towards Beaver Harbor okay. when they first came. Yes. And there was a, a fire. Yeah. And everybody relocated to where St. George is now. Okay. And built up from there. So prior to that, what was in St. George? Rocks. Rocks. Granite. <laughs> granite. I assume yeah. it was granite. Thus the name granite. Cliffs came. and, and uh, cliffs. one beautiful gorge. And one beautiful, one beautiful gorge. gorge. Yes. So uh, did somebody discover it, like uh, Ponce de Leon or something? <laughs> well, it probably wasn't him. Was he the Peter, guy? Peter Clinch. Was he the guy? Oh, yeah, that was him. Well, Ponce de, he was the guy looking for the Fountain of Youth, wasn't it? Patrick? Anybody? Who was looking for the Fountain of Youth? All of us. Yeah. All, all, of all of us are looking for it. I know. See, I'm not. I'm eternally youthful. That's because, well, I take, well, I was going to say I take care of myself, but I don't. My wife takes care of me. But, okay, now back to you now. Oh. Yeah. You know what? The focus has turned to you. You're, you're, we'll get you next. No. But we're, I'm fascinated by this kale. Now, do you grow kale in your garden at home? No, I don't. See, I thought you would. I, thought I, don't have, like, I live in the middle of St. George. I don't have a piece of land big enough Oh, to really? Grow. No. Okay, so you don't have like a garden? No, or... but no, but I have a brother who's very good at that okay. stuff and some friends. And then do they grow, or are you into that whole organic? Organic, yes. Oh, geez. And uh, <laughs> we also are lucky right now. We have a new program that started by Amanda Corning and Dolores Bagley called okay. AMDs. And what they do is they bring in produce boxes each week. Okay. And for a fee, you get a whole box of all fresh, not sprayed, organic nice. vegetables. And where do I pick that up? That would be at the Day Venture Center. They're okay. in one of the buildings, and she's going to be there all winter. So oh. it started out as being just like a spring, summer, fall thing, and she, now she's she's progressed now. She's doing um, Credles Market, uh, Stuff that's where she's in, getting uh, a, Hampton. That's where she's getting the no spray right. stuff from, and she's also got her own line of bug sprays and foot balms, stuff like that, that are like no. Well, that's an no interesting combination: foot balms and bug sprays. <laughs> and oh, she's are they interchangeable? Sure, why not? Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice. But they work. The bug yeah. spray works. And excellent. the foot balm, I'm sure, works as well. And she has uh, a full line like sunscreen, yeah. so no, no preservatives, no. See, I can't remember. I think, I think he's having a problem. <laughs> no, no, I'm not having a stroke or anything. But it's uh, there's something in sunscreen. I think it's it's a you know, yeah. Okay, no, you know, it's, it's, yeah. But I think that's what it is. So she does a natural thing, right? Yeah. Because I don't think sunscreen's good for you either. Uh, she does bath bombs also, and, okay. and uh, it all can be bought there. She's there Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Oh, nice! So, so we'll have to swing by. And, yes, and definitely check, check it out. Now, what what are your your top favorite five vegetables? My top <laughs> spinach is my favorite. You love spinach. Kale. Would you eat butter? No, I don't. <laughs> I do. Oh, <laughs> See. See everything I save, she eats. <laughs> right. So it, that's wonderful. No, but I mean, I love butter. Yeah, so do I. And you don't have any butter. Wow. Do you run or you must exercise and stuff? No. You're in great shape. You must. I walk after a very fast puppy. Oh, do you? What kind of puppy? I think I've seen your dog. A golden on. Retriever. Oh, golden yeah. Retriever. What's his name? Her, her name, name, Sunny. Sunny. Yeah. Do you have a dog or a cat? I have Pat? a kitten. Kitten. What's her name? Smokey. Smokey. Where did you get her from the SPCA? Or? I did not. No? <laughs> I got her from my son. Or, oh, okay. <laughs> she, he, she inherited it. Yes, I inherited it. But uh, you're a cat lover, though, I, I'm sure. Yes, I do she's love cats. She's your friend. Yes. She's... That's good. So now, now, what do you like to eat? You like to eat everything? Or you... I, yes, I like everything. <laughs> Meat and potatoes. Meat and you potatoes. Said. Yeah. But I don't cook much because I'm not home very often. Well, you're busy working. I am. I have a few different jobs and I don't get meetings. home that often. She's yeah. always at meetings. Yes. So, would you do a lot of negotiation and that type of thing and a lot of big business deals and that type of stuff? And well, you're always having to do something as the mayor. Yes, but I work full time. So. I was going to say that. Yes. And then do you work shift work? I do not. No. I work Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, 8 to 8. Okay. But I do run the St. George Royal Cemetery in my spare time, so. 
No, that's the cemetery right on the main street. Right on, in, no. no, Carlton Street. Carlton. The big cemetery. It's 23 acres. Wow. And yes. wh how, what do you do to run that? I am the board chairman, but okay. I actually run it like she Mo. Knows. <laughs> wow. Yes. Good for you. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. I think that's really, yes. that's cool. That's what I, I volunteered there before I became mayor. Yeah. And I love it, so I wouldn't give it up. Now, is it a ride on mower? Uh, we don't use or a am ride. Am I asking too many questions? <laughs> no, we use whippersnippers mostly yeah. for 23 acres because it's very uneven ground. 23 acres yes. is a lot. That's a lot. We have a, I think we have a 10 by 10 foot yard and my <laughs> wife cut that because that's too much for yes. me to do. It's like another full-time job from May till October. And now, uh, how old is the cemetery? How old are some of the stones there? I think the cemetery is 1783. Wow. Yeah, it's an old cemetery. So that's... Yes. And so that's that's wonderful that somebody takes care of it because yes. somebody has to take care of these yes. things. It's a beautiful cemetery. Yeah, I haven't yes. been there. Yes. It's we'll have to come and visit yes. that too. See, I'm learning things. You'll find me up there. You Wait, come well, up. I'm going to come in the summer <laughs> yes. and, and watch you cut the grass. <laughs> yes. No, is it just yourself or is there a whole crew of people? Well, we do have a board, yeah. but um, my husband and I do a You're lot of the mowing. We hire a couple of summer students. Yeah. Yes. And how long does that take? Must take forever. It, Twenty-three acres. It takes about two weeks to mow it once. <laughs> okay, we, yes. it takes you two weeks to mow it. Yes. So and then you got to start all over yes. again. So it's like Unless never. Unless you end. have no it rain. Never, it never ends. Does Faith help you? I bet you oh. she doesn't. Well, uh, I'll I bet feel I could walk you on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could. <laughs> Wow, see, I'm speechless now. That's amazing. Yes. Now, I want, geez, there must be some granite from... Yeah, a lot of history up there. Yeah, so there's beautiful stones up there. Yeah, and the stones, the old stones, tell stories. Yeah. They have stories right on them that you read it. Now, is that Ponce de Leon? Well, that wasn't his name. What's his name? See, i got to write this down. Peter... <laughs> Peter Clinch. He's oh, on, so i got, I got he's Peter on, right. He's on the front street. He's in that cemetery yes. on the front street. Oh, so he's got his own special right. spot. Right, yeah. The, yeah. Little, so, the little cemetery. <laughs> yeah. So he started St. George. Right. So was he from the, what, that other place, say, Beaver Harbor? I'm not sure if he was or not. But you said they all moved I, from there. Th that's where the people came from when it burnt, yes. Oh, when it burnt, okay. But I don't know whether he was there before them. Or, okay. But, and then we have, we were just talking about tonight, is the Gilmore House with yes. a lot of history right there on the front street. So tell us about the Gilmore House. I'll let you Somebody's got to tell us. Well, the Gilmore House was built in the 1800s mm -hmm. uh, by Senator Gilmore. Uh, it was a wedding present to his wife. Okay. And it's a beautiful stately mansion right on Main Street across from the Bank of Nova Scotia. Okay. Um, Mr. Gilmore... Uh, the president, Mr. he sadly died a couple weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry um, to hear that. Yes, and it's a beautiful, well, it's a mansion. It's right. a beautiful home. Now, can, Has you, a lot of can you visit, and or is it a private It's residence? a private home okay. right now, yes. It's beautiful But there. it's one of the landmarks of St. George, it too, is. that people remember. You know, they see the post office and the Gilmore House and, and the Falls and Gorge. They yeah. just salmon ladder. You know all that stuff. Yeah, those are things. Those are the the, the high points yeah. that people want to come and see when they when they come to this area, Charlotte County, because there's so many things to see here. Yes. And now historically, there was somebody that did. Um, he I I met him at the um, the trade show, and I is there a uh, there's a church that somebody was renovating or something? Does that ring a bell, or am I just Church, somebody was renovating. Am I off mm. the mark here? I'd have to talk to my wife because maybe she <laughs> talked to him. See, I shouldn't bring up things that I can't. I can only <laughs> barely remember. No. Can't think of any churches that we had one where that. Does he have been. archives or something? I could have sworn it was in Saint George. That was another. archives. We used to have uh, Saint George archives, but that's been disbanded. I said, nobody's taking care of that no, anymore. No. Now, where's city or town hall? Town Hall it's is on School Street. City Hall, but it's Town Hall. Right, it's on School Street. Okay. Which is just behind the cemetery where Peter Clinch is. Where Peter Clinch is. Yeah. Right. I know And him. it's the same place as, it's by the Legion and yeah. it's the same spot as the fire department. Wow. Is it a volunteer fire department? Yes. It is. And uh, the volunteers say, oh, now, well, they then uh, with no, with a, a lack of water, you got to watch that too, I guess. Well, huh? Yeah, we just got to hope for the best. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this is serious, that everybody conserves as much as possible. Definitely. Because you've got to. 
And then, so you, you're not, you don't have a garden and you're watering your cake. And I, and spend. my, <laughs> no, and my grass is crispy and green. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you want. Yeah, it would take. <laughs> yeah, or put down artificial turf. Everybody should do that, maybe. But uh, yeah, no, that's a big, okay. So now what else, is there anything else I've forgotten about St. George? There must be. You can't, re you can't remember. We have, uh, Got some exciting stuff this summer. We've got a new fire truck. Yes. Okay. We got the new water tower. We we received a, we well, didn't receive. We we purchased a new plow truck. Okay. So we're putting in new water lines and redoing. Oh, so that's a big deal. Big infrastructure going nice. on. Yeah. Nice. And uh, you got a Christmas parade coming up. We do. Yes, we do. Because I think Patrick was volunteering. Yes. That's, I, yes. I heard that. Yes. December, heard that. December yeah. the 9th. December 9th. So tell yep, us about it. This will be our second one. We just, oh, so we just had it last year. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. So last year it turned out so beautiful. Uh, you know, it was a night of a snowstorm. Yeah. Which was unfortunate but fortunate. Yeah. Because it was nice for the parade. Yes. But it was a bad snowstorm, so mm -hmm. some people couldn't make it to yeah. town or anything. And how many, did you remember how many floats you had? We had about 30. Were you on something? I was on a float. I was soaked by the end of it, but it, was, it was fun. Were you in a convertible or something? We put, a, <laughs> the town office put a float together in the afternoon. You built something. <laughs> or, yes. or assembled. We on did. back of a trailer. We had okay. probably... 20 extension cords on that plugged into a generator. Okay. And we had borrowed no a heater there. from Cooks that actually shot out fire. Oh, <laughs> yes, nice. it was a very interesting flow. Right. So this coming back to the dra the fire breathing dragon <laughs> yes. of St. George yes. slu 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 <laughs> yes. And Slade. the tree we had we had indoor Christmas trees on the back of a where a the trailer, right. where the fire was. Right. We didn't put a lot of thought into it. No, I was going to say <laughs> now I'm not uh, I don't know if you'd say mechanically minded, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. No, Putting we realized that it. once we started moving. Right. Yes, Minister Doucette was on the float with us. <laughs> okay. And the whole route, he was diving over the side to grab the Christmas trees. To make sure <laughs> yes. that uh, you And try not to burn his leg at the same time. Oh boy. So it sounds <laughs> it, like an exciting event. It was exciting, <laughs> it was fun. But we, like, we didn't get this on film. So, I mean, nobody was there to record it. Like no, C -C no, I don't think anybody knew what we were going through. Okay. You know. So, but now we had Santa on our float as well. Did you? Yes, we did. Okay. And did you wear your your neck your may may mayoral neck? Is it that is that a word? Chain. Mayoral. Chain. Mayoral. <laughs> mayoral chain. Is that what you call it? Or? I left the chain home that night. Did you? I did. You don't. You don't. Not a big advocate <laughs> of it. No. I. I know it has a lot of tradition. It has a lot of tradition. Yes, but I'm usually it. the only person in the room that has a big chain on. So, right. So yes. you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to stand out too much from everybody. Yes. yes. It didn't really go with your Christmas attire that night. Okay. <laughs> no. Well, fair enough. What's it made out of? Gold? Is it gold and diamonds and rubies and emeralds? It's, it's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, velour with big... Metal? Metal crest. Yes, is metal it crest. heavy? It is quite heavy. Is it? Yes, yeah. and it has all the names of the men. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, actually. Yeah. I mean, it has is the your names. Name? Oh, is your name well, on it? My name's not on it yet. Well, when, do you, when, you, well, when does it go when on? When she does a good job. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. See, there's a bit of a dig from your deputy mayor. See? Now, I believe the names go on once, <laughs> yeah. they're, once they've done their term. Oh, so after you're gone, they put your name on yes. it. So the next person, the next person gets to see your name on yes. it. So how many names are on it? We'll have to look into that. See, now I'm you. fascinated. Yeah. I'm fascinated by stuff like There's that. There's a lot of names on There's it. Is there? there no, is. He, Peter Clinch, was he a mayor? Or? No. 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 He was, who was your first mayor? Do you know? You should first know mayor? that. I don't know who the first mayor was. You well, should. I know. These I should. are the kinds of things you should know. People As, want to know. Yeah. Grab well, I want to know. <laughs> I don't know if people do, but I do. So, okay. So now, this. Where is this necklace now? Is it in safe, safe somewhere? Or it's in, in my the, home. It's at your home. It's in my okay. home. It's very safe. Is it? Yeah. yeah my so kitten's watching it. Your kit, oh well, as long as somebody <laughs> is. So, so you, do you ever wear it? Do you get, I do wear it. Yeah. For oh, they got, in the picture I put up, I think yeah, you wear it. I wear it for you? announcements. Yeah. You know. The government gives us money, I put it on and yeah. yes. And do you have a nice office? Do I have a nice yeah. office? The like a mayor right office? <laughs> no, we don't have a mayor office. You don't have a mayor no. office? I have no. a mayor office at home. 
Oh, okay. Yes. So, but you have a town hall. Yes. But you don't have an office in the town hall. I don't. Oh, well, you're telling me to wrap it up. <laughs> Somebody's see that I understand these signals. So, does this mean we're out of time? We are. Geez, I went by too fast. Uh, the clock says I still got a couple of minutes. I had a lot more questions about <laughs> face eating habits. Well, thank you both very much. That was thank it. You. I went in. I wasn't so painful, was that it? That was pretty good. That wasn't so bad. You're going to come. You know what? I'm booking you for next week. <laughs> come on. Thank you so much for watching Rob Patrick Live. Thank you to Faith Avery and to Crystal Cook, Mayor and Deputy Mayor of St. George. It was a great time. I had a lot of fun. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.